Hi Pisces, welcome to this reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Um, you might find it resonates more though if Pisces is your Moon or Rising Sign. We have the Seven of Pentacles that turned itself around. Actually, I'm really thrilled about that because it was upright and I was thinking, oh my goodness, this thing, they're going to take their time and whatever situation you're in, it's, you know, there's a period of waiting involved, but it, it flipped itself around. So I feel there may have been some, you know, serious investment here, whether it's tangible, emotional, lots of mental activity of thought, um, and it could be time for some sort of payoff is what I'm seeing. Let's keep going. Okay, so messages to you. Ten of Swords in reverse. Um, I'm thinking of Taurus for some reason. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy, Five of Swords. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is coming in to say things are moving forward. What has been hidden is coming to light. Now I have to say, heads up, this may involve some kind of, you know, a discussion that gets a bit heated. It might create a bit of, you know, a small amount of turbulence before we move forward. So um, nothing huge, nothing, you know, terribly dramatic. But just so you know, there could be a little bit of, of um, like I said, turbulence. We have the page of wands in reverse. So if you've been waiting forever for a new beginning or any kind of beginning, that could be turning around. We have the knight of wands in reverse. So more Sagittarius energy. We have the chariot in reverse, cancer. And we have the ten of wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel the wheel of fortune is coming in here to blast away all of this kind of... Um, I'm picking up confusion, misdirection false starts, you know, taking a step forward, taking a step back, you're going left, they're going right, trying to get on the same page, um, not necessarily knowing where you stand sometimes as well, and I'm hearing frustration and stubbornness, so someone may have been stubborn, someone's been frustrated with that, it could have been an energy that's gone back and forth, so this is a message from your person, so they might be saying, this has been very confusing for me as well, but I feel something is changing with this Wheel of Fortune. You know, them saying it to you, and look, we do have a star on the back. So feeling hopeful, a renewed sense of hope and healing. And for me, the star is, um, well, the chariot follows the star. So that's really exciting. Your person has a new sense of direction here, and the star, you know, takes you to your ultimate goal. Um, even if you feel like it's leading you elsewhere, even if you can't see that everything that's happening along the way is happening to bring you to your goal, you know, that's what's going on. So you may not know how you're going to get there, but if you can follow this feeling of hope, um, optimism and, you know, take that, that divinely inspired action when it comes to you, you will get there. And this is sort of what your person's saying. So your person's having some sort of renewed, um, I don't know, boost of energy, momentum here. Let's have a look. Let's go straight to the Wheel of Fortune. For some of you, I'm hearing there's a conflict that was left unresolved, maybe an argument, something like that. We have the King of Wands in the reverse. So yeah, your person hasn't either been taking action or the action they've been taking has been unstable. You haven't been able to rely on it. And it's kind of annoyed you, if I'm honest, with this Queen of Swords coming out. So you may have been cross at times. Okay, what else please? Okay, Spirit's telling me to go to the Five of Swords, so let's see what's this about. We have the so we have a few actually. We have the sun in reverse, Leo energy. So yes, like I was saying, something that was hidden is now coming to light. It could be something um, that helps you resolve this conflict, an answer you've been waiting for, some kind of insight. But you may have been annoyed that you weren't, you know, your person was holding back something you were trying to ask or find out or um, to know where you stood with them, perhaps, or how they felt. They were holding this back. It was very frustrating for you. Yeah, look, and we have this falling out. And the crazy thing is, we've got the king and queen of wands. And look how you're both looking at one another. But in the reverse, it's like you couldn't get on the same page. Maybe there was a difference in communication styles. Maybe one one person wanted to, to go a bit faster than, than the other. Maybe you know, that frustration and stubbornness coming out. Someone was being stubborn. Someone was getting frustrated. Someone pulled away and is now coming back around. We have Virgo with the Hermit. So the reason they're coming back around is because they have been thinking. And look, this looks like your person to me with the star. So you may have both have this period of reflection, but, you know, for your person, they've, they've realised something. And what they've realised is with the Eight of Pentacles that they want to you know, they want to or they need to, I'm hearing, it puts some actual tangible effort in, you know, um, to follow through with words or promises or to show you some action to speak about their feelings. 
Two of coins, ten of cups in the reverse. Okay. So there's a decision here that they've had to make. It could be between a situation that's not making them happy and a situation with you that has the potential to make them very happy. It could be maybe they're used to being doubtful, cynical, um, not getting their hopes up, and that was completely out of alignment with this connection. So now they're saying, okay, well, that didn't work. Let me try it the other way. Let me try this this thing called, you know, hope and positivity and belief. Um, let me dare to hope, I'm hearing. So that could be what's sparking this whole new way of seeing things, this optimism, this feeling of, well, I don't exactly know all the answers. I don't know how we're going to get there, but I just feel that we will. Okay, so what else, please? Mm, yeah, the judgment. It's the judgment? <laughs> or judgment. So yes, it, it's an awakening. They finally, they, they've heard the call, they're answering it, they're not pushing it away anymore. Um, and this probably isn't just stubbornness, you know, maybe in the past they have been hopeful and they've been very hurt. So it's fear, isn't it? You know, if I open myself up to this, I could be very wounded or I could be very disappointed. Um, so it's taking a risk, it's taking that leap of, of faith, there's no guarantee. But yeah, these these people here are naked, they've, you know, they're in the coffin. So this person has gone through the energy of, of death, you know, the death card, that um, tearing down of what's not working, that sort of self-inflicted destruction at times to rebuild. So we, have, we could have Scorpio here as well. Um, so yeah, this is, this is a big deal. This is a, a rebirth in terms of them, how they're thinking, how they're showing up. It's a rebirth because of that within your connection, if you are open to it, you know? Um, for some of you, a funny thing, I'm hearing, how will you know that this is happening for your person? Spirit's telling me their fashion. So if your person starts to dress differently, maybe they um, start to look smarter, maybe they just, you know, have a complete new look that they're rocking, I don't know. Um, that's a sign. So for some of you, what your person is wearing is, is an indication here. Okay, so let's go into some of these messages here. So again, I'm going to set the intention that whether it's the blue writing or the red that comes out, all of these are to you from your person. So if you want to separate them and choose a colour for you and for them, I would pause and set your intention. But otherwise, let's move forward. And if you like this deck, there's a link to purchase it um, in the description box. Okay, wow. So let's see. We have... I have faith that yeah that we will be together again. I am holding space for you. Yeah, this is all about faith with the star that we effectively have three times. You know, the star card, we have it alluded to with the chariot and the hermit in his lantern that's holding the star. So your person does have this renewed faith, definitely. Um, I wonder if there was there is someone else who can make you happier than I can. So possibly some self-doubt. Um, wondering if they are enough for you. I'm seeing that guitar again. Um, let me know if, if that resonates with you. I'm trying to be the person that you see me to be. I never thought I could be that person. Yeah, so they feel that you are more impressed with them than they are. You know, truly, that you see more in them than they have ever seen in themselves. So they could be pushing quite a lot of pressure on themselves. Or maybe they just don't see all of the amazing things about themselves that you see. Okay, so part of this fear, you know, around hoping in the past may have been that they were convinced that once you really got to know them, once it's really took off, you would be disappointed. Um, but they're turning that way of thinking around now, which is great. Okay, anything else? Yes, we have, I didn't really believe in marriage until I met you. So maybe this is someone who had, um, who was married or even is and it's just not going well, or it didn't go well, or um, they ha they've they had, you know, very serious long-term commitments, and they said never again, until they met you. We have, I pray for you all the time, and do healing work on your behalf. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe they do. Um, you might resonate with that as an energy that's more coming from you. They could, I do feel they are doing healing definitely right now, and that is helping to heal this connection, as I said earlier. So it could be more that, that you know, the work they're doing on themselves is healing um, this for both of you to, to a degree. I had put you on a pedestal and made myself small. Yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. With all of that worry about, you know, am I enough? 
Is there someone else who can make you happier? Um, I wish you would tell me how you really feel so I don't have to get readings on you. Wow, so maybe for some of you this person um, has got a reading on you. Or maybe this is them wondering, confiding in friends, asking friends, how do you think they really feel? You might be pulling at your hair and saying, I have told you, you know, um, and maybe you told them, I think you're amazing. And they just couldn't believe it because they couldn't see it about themselves. So they were saying, but I wonder how you really feel when you're going, I've told you. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. You are much more attractive to me when you are empowered rather than when you're insecure. So this person may have seen you being um, perhaps um, a bit desperate at times. And I don't mean that in an offensive way. I mean, like, you, you know, when you're saying to them, but I, I need something from you. You're saying you feel this, you're not doing anything. Or, you know, we, we both act a certain way around at one, you know, one another, but you won't tell me how you feel. So when you get to a place of, of that desperation, because you're like, well, just give me something or tell me, um, that it's a no-go and I'll be on my way. So they may have seen you like this, um, but they also have seen you clearly when you're very strong and empowered, which um, you might be showing them now. And they're saying, yeah, I like I like it when you're strong. I like it when you're empowered. Um, I mean, yeah, that's kind of obvious, isn't it? But yeah, yeah okay. So if you're in that energy now, um, keep going for you, for them, for this connection. Okay. You know, maybe it's not so obvious. If you're dealing or, or, you know, in life, if you're dealing with someone who is very insecure and they do have some, some like, narcissistic tendencies to go with that, for example, um, they may not like it when you're empowered because it feels threatening. So this is a good indication that your person is not displaying anything concerning like that. They like to see you strong. They like to see you happy and healthy. Okay. We have, it should be me in the photo with you. So, you know, if you've posted something, perhaps a photo of you uh, with someone else, whether it's like a, a partner, a lover sort of person, a friend, family member, if you maybe are really enjoying yourself, but saying, I wish it was me next to you. We have unresolved mother issues. So this could be their own mother or a very heavy feminine influence. Um, it could be a mother of a child, perhaps, and then we have not my type. So they could be saying, if this is an ex, you know, with that marriage card, if they were married, they had kids, they separated, they could be saying, I don't want that, that's not for me, I don't want anyone who's going to be that way again, that's not my type. They could also be saying that you are not their um, normal type, you know, and maybe it took some getting used to. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing, it just perhaps means that, that they were struggling to see the both of you together and asking themselves well maybe there's someone who's more suited for you who would make you happier um maybe your normal type makes this person feel intimidated in some way possibly and look we have choose me so they might be saying this is unexpected but they are saying and yet you know i, w I want to be the one that you're with oh let's make babies okay that's very interesting that's coming out under the unresolved mother issues card so for some of you there are kids involved um, or this, could, you know, for others of you, this person is saying they do want to have children with you. They want to, you know, if you have children or they have children, they want to get involved with that. Um, or if it's not a human child, um, let's create something together. Let's build a life together. Let's start a business together. Let's make art together. we have this is just lust well no it's not because um you don't want to have babies with you know of any kind you don't want any sort of lifelong commitment with someone if it's just lust so i will clarify that and we have head versus heart that could be our clarification this person may have tried to tell themselves in the past oh it's just lust um i can ignore this while well, it's not but let's see okay this is just lust can you tell me oh there's a third party, for those of you who were with this person and then they went off somewhere else, maybe thinking the grass would be greener, they're now realising this new person is not my type, it was just lust, it was a silly decision. Okay, what else can you tell us please? I'm hearing the name Walter, <laughs> um, and also I'm seeing some daffodils as well. Okay, this is just lust. Knight of Swords in reverse.
Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I just got a flash of the Eight of Wands as well. So yeah, I think it's one of those storylines. Nine of Wands in reverse. So either this person tried to make this connection just about lust and then they realised, well, that's not going to work because my feelings are much deeper. Or, and it could be an and, you know, they sort of met someone else, they've been flirting or entertaining other people and they realise that, that that situation is not going anywhere. It's not going to ground itself and it's not even a, a connection they want to fight for. They want to let that other person go. Because with the Nine of Wands, it's been nothing but a struggle. Okay. Some of you, I'm feeling that there has been a power struggle here. I'm not sure if it's a power struggle between you and your person, um, or a power struggle that they're experiencing with somebody else, and that's, that that third energy has been somehow interfering directly or indirectly with your connection. Okay, I thought about reaching out to you, but then I stopped myself. You are never far from my mind. I feel this person watch you do a lot, even if they're not actually reaching out. I know I made a huge mistake. You are irreplaceable. Oops. Mm. Yeah, coming out next to I know I made a huge mistake. That storyline seems like it's getting stronger. That's going to resonate with someone for sure. But this person thought they'd go off and explore another situation. And they're, they're very um, regretful that they have done that now. I'm more affected than you know. And we have I miss the feel of you next to me. So this could be, you know, the, the, uh, the physical feel. I miss your energy being around. I miss speaking with you. I'm afraid to take that next step right now. For some of you, that next step is going to be an explanation or an apology. Oh, I picked up a tarot card. Okay. Anything else, please? We have, you've been in my dreams. It's okay, so fantasies, daydreams, and dreams at night as well. Maybe this person has been communicating with you um, through dreams, through um, maybe psychic communication, even astral travel as well. Okay, so this card slipped on the floor. So let's see what it says. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So I, I feel that's what they've been doing. They've been letting these fears, unwanted thoughts, you know, just fall away um, to create room for light, for hope. Yeah, look, new beginning is um, was flipped over. So I'll keep that out as well. And it says, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. I don't think this person let themselves dream, you know, maybe they were, we have head versus heart, maybe they were overly practical, they didn't have a good balance, they were always trying to be too logical about things. Okay, we have, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Okay, so this could be a message for you, you know, about self-care. Um, it could also be what your person has been doing, focusing on themselves. And you may be saying, it was taking a long time, and they're saying, yeah, I know, but um, I'm there now. You know, the wait is over, seven of coins in the reverse. And everything I've been doing, it's, it's really been helping me to invest, and it's been an investment for this connection. Yeah, look, freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So they found a kind of freedom, you know, and, and I think a lot of it is a freedom within their head, within their thoughts. They're not limiting themselves before they've even begun. Okay. So let's finish up with some uh, messages from the Archangels and then I will head over into the extended. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link below in the description box. If not, of course, that's fine. Okay, so let's see. We have moon cycles, you can see. I'll read that in a minute. You know what's interesting? I wanted to get my Moonology Oracle deck for this reading. 
and I looked and I looked and I looked there's literally about two places it could be and I cannot see it so I just thought okay clearly I'm not supposed to use that for this reading but it's just so interesting isn't it how how these things work it's just I, I'm literally not seeing it and I bet you later on it will be in plain sight but it's like my 3d eyes were just not seeing it it's so strange okay so let's see Okay, so the first one out is this Moon Cycles card that says, Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalise upon these cycles. Okay, so this could be a message to say, at this time, working with the cycles of the moon could be very helpful with releasing, healing, bringing in, I'm specifically hearing bringing in communication um, with your manifestations in general. This can also be talking about cycles wrapping up, new cycles coming in. We do have clear your space so yeah this is definitely a good time for clearing out making space for a new cycle clairvoyance okay pay attention to the signs that you're seeing if you're wondering is that the sign for me am i just reading into something i feel that it probably is a sign if you weren't you know if you weren't desperately looking at it or looking for something and something just um, grabs your attention it probably is because you're supposed to see it for a reason you know if you're seeing um, repeating number patterns synchronicities um, or if you just see something let's see say you see you turn on your laptop and there's a screensaver of an animal a particular kind of animal and you just you know for a minute you just look at it and you're thinking about it let's say it's a frog and you're thinking well I have no connection to frogs but kind of interested in this for some reason i would follow that through maybe have a look at what they represent maybe it has a message for you we have spread your wings yeah do not hold back right now and i feel this is exactly what your person is doing and we have outdoors go outside um, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas and again i'm coming back to this this sort of creativity around music and it doesn't have to just be that i think for someone that is a very specific message but creativity in general whether it's with your person um, or you might be creative in another sort of way um you know naturally kind of by yourself not just within this connection okay so I think maybe a message here could be clear some space for new energy to come into this connection. Um, your person is definitely coming into some new energy here and spirits drawing me back to that um, channeled message about your person's fashion sense, which for some reason is, is like making me sort of smile. It just it seems a bit funny and silly, but you know, spirits insistent. So if your person starts showing up looking quite different, I would um, pay attention to that okay so thank you so much for watching i hope this has been helpful um like i said the extended if you want it is below um if you want to leave your question for friday for the one question one card please just leave it in the comments and i will enter you into the draw and um yeah i think that's it so oh tomorrow tomorrow i'm thinking of doing a reading that is um basically super twin flame focused so if you're interested in that um just let me know let me know in the comments you know if that sounds good um so yeah okay thanks take care bye